It's been three days and this prophet has yet to show himself. I hope I'm not making a huge mistake by trusting you. Warchief, the clans are assembling as you ordered, but it will take them some time to reach us. Then we must prepare this camp immediately. I want my warriors to have food and proper lodgings when they arrive. Yes, Warchief. Warrior, has there been any word from Grom Hellscream? He and the Warsong clan were supposed to have been here by now. No, Warchief. We haven't heard from Hellscream in some time. Damn it, Grom. Where the hell are you? The blinking button at the top of the screen indicates that your quest journal has been updated. To find out more about your objectives, click on the quest button. In order to establish a base and recruit more troops, it is necessary to collect two different types of resources, gold and lumber. To learn how to harvest gold, select a peon. Something to do it? Peons can harvest gold from gold mines such as the one located here. To begin collecting gold, select your peon and right click on the gold mine. Once a peon has been ordered to harvest gold, you will automatically travel back and forth between the gold mine and your closest great hall. Here are a few additional peons. To increase the rate of gold collection, order them to harvest from the same gold mine. Yes, something to do when you want. The amount of gold that you currently possess is displayed in the upper right portion of your screen. As peons return to your great hall with gold, your gold stockpile increases. Now that your gold income is steady, you will want to produce additional peons to construct the rest of your base. To train a peon, first select your Great Hall. There is now a Train Peon button located in the command card near the bottom right corner of the screen. To begin training a peon, simply click this button. Training a unit takes time. In order to support a larger population, additional orc burrows will have to be constructed. Burrows provide the food that allows you to train more troops. To construct a burrow, select one of your peons. Now click on the Build Structure button in the command card. Notice that additional buttons are now available in the command card. To construct an orc burrow, click on the Build Orc Burrow button. Now move the mouse to where you want the building to be placed. Once you have found an appropriate location, left click to begin construction. Work, work. Work complete. I can do that. Ready to work. In order to produce additional buildings, you must gather more lumber from the nearby forests. To harvest lumber, select a peon and right-click on a nearby tree. What you you have just placed a rally point for your structure. Whenever a unit finishes training from this building, he will automatically travel to the rally point's location. To place a rally point, select one of your unit producing structures and right-click on the ground where you want the rally point to appear. Work, work. Now that your peon has been assigned to gather lumber, he will automatically travel back and forth between the forest and your closest great hall. Ready to work. Ready to work. Ready to work. Ready well placed to work. war mills can increase the efficiency of your lumber harvesters. Try ordering a peon to construct a war mill near where your peons are chopping wood. Something to do you want? Mm -hmm. Something to do it? Mm -hmm. Okie dokie. Look, we got no gun. The spirits are restless.
Logrigar, Nogal. What do you want? I can do that. Work complete. Work, work. Now that your barracks is complete, you can begin training grunts to reinforce your army. To train a grunt, first select your barracks. Work complete! Be happy to. War mills contain various upgrades that can be researched to improve your troops. To see what upgrades are available, select your war mill. Now click on the Train Grunt button in the command card. All available upgrades appear as buttons in the War Mills command card. To research an upgrade, left click on the one you want to purchase. Research complete. Research complete. Continue producing grunts until you reach your quest requirement. Yes. My life for the Lord. Work, work. Work complete. Be happy to. My life for the Lord. My life for the Lord. My life for the Lord. Orcs are in violation of the Alliance Internment Act. We've already captured one of your leaders. If you surrender now, we'll spare your lives. War Chief, they say they've captured one of our leaders. Maybe they're referring to Krom. I hope not. But if they have captured Hellscream, I'll make them regret it. Look, Tarogar! Come, my warriors! We must drive the humans back! Master, what do you want? Huh? Our yes. town is under attack. What do you want? Smobu. The spirits are restless. I am the war chief. Humans have been destroyed. Move Thrall and the rest of your forces across the bridge and locate Grom. Let's get on with it. For honor. Hmm. Yes. For One of your structures was damaged during the fight. To repair a damaged building, select a peon, click the repair button, and then left click on the desired structure. Work, work. Something you yes. doing? What do you want? Something you doing? Hmm? Something you doing? What do you want? Yes. Be happy to what do you want.
years. For honor. Doom! 
So without having to try to select them individually. For honor. Notice that the currently selected units are displayed in the bottom middle portion of your screen by little portraits. One of the unit portraits is highlighted with a yellow glow. This means that it is the currently activated subgroup. You can switch between subgroups by pressing the tab key or left clicking on one of the portraits that is not highlighted. This activates that subgroup and displays their spells in your command card. Hmm. For honor. For the whore.
There that your people's salvation will be assured.